Both of these teams, I was talking about how, how well Upalets had played here in the uh, in the Challengers in 2018. There's uh, Fence Gar, ranked number 11. And would you believe it? This dude is 37 years old. He's 37 years old. He looks 25, and he dunks like he's 22. It makes no sense. He got good genes. Uh, so does Andre Shishka, uh, a lot younger though, uh, 13 years younger than than, uh, than the Sphinx. But Shishka, you're talking about a player that that goes for your neck like a bow tie. There's no giving up in this dude. I mean, he he's one of the, the game's top competitors. He's got plenty of game to match. <laughs> But, uh, you know, with $30,000 on the line, this is where you got to elevate the game, your game. You got to take it to the to the next level. What's the, what's the, uh, the Sierra song? Level up, level up, level up, level up. That, that's what they got to do. You got to level up. So experienced uh, Peter Ahn team. They won gold at the Europe Cup 2016, bronze at the World Cup this year and 2016. So they represented in national competitions, the core four. They, they don't change their squad. And uh, in terms of head-to-head -head with uh, Piran and Umpelets, Umpelets is 0-1 against Piran as they lost at the, in the semifinals of the Limassol Challenger. Piran with a, with a couple of wins under their belt on the world tour. One came last year in Chengdu. Remember that one well. And the other in uh, 2014 in Lausanne. But Piran was leading the money list uh, prior to Lehman just blazing through the quarterfinal. I mean, through the uh, challengers. But you're talking about three challenger wins for Lehman. They're going to need a, this will be a challenging win if they do get it against Upalets, who start things off with a two-piece. DeGrin doing the honors. Now Kavgan trying to give you one right back, but he misses. So Upalets trying to make it either three or potentially four, but Zakrila, his shot off the mark. The Sphinx, he misses. Kavgan over to him. And Fensgar misses point blank range, yeah. but he he been in the weight room. Can you tell? Give me that rock. Takes <laughs> takes the ball and scores it. Zakrila, pull up, long. The Sphinx comes down with it over to Anze Shrebolt, the young member of this team, the youngest member. At 26 years old, and he gets a deuce to go down and puts Piran in front by one. Shishka, oh, behind the back, oh, but deed up at the rim. Good heads up play from Shrebo. Shrebo. Now four on the, the shot clock. Kavgic, oh, just short on the two piece, but Avnik hustles it down. Oh, what a what a heads up play. And that's one of the I don't think I've seen Shrey Bolt miss a crib like that before. That, that now you never see that. So smart play from, from Avnik. He made the right pass. You expect Shrey Bolt to make that shot. I'd be I'd be beyond shocked if you see him miss one like that again. Not not common. Trey Bolt, chance to uh, redeem himself. Instead, he kicks it out to the Sphinx. The Sphinx still off target from two range. Stays three two. Shishka, Zakrila, locked and loaded, and no. To the left, to the left, misses it. Mm. Well, show some love to our sponsors again. Our global sponsor, Wilson, provide that specially made 3x3 ball for us. Uh, by the way, you can, the foul called in play, you can, you can buy this, uh, our specially made 3x3 basketball. Oh, 
Yeah, just go to FIBA3x3.com, and uh, you'll find the link there. I think it's slash ball. You'll find the link, and you can get that rock. We've just seen it go through the nets, make it a 4-2 game. Uh, I want to shout out our, and, and thank our founding partner, Nike, our official timekeeper, T. So, and our European nutrition sponsor, Prozis. Help and keep our players here in the, the best condition, energized. Probably could have used some more energy on that shot. Andre Shrebo airballed it. Now the Sphinx trying to check up on Shishka. Shishka fading away one-legged. Fresh shot clock for DeGrin here. He's guarded by Ovnik. Yeah, a lot of contact, and that went in the process of the shot. So DeGrin will uh, go up to the strike. And he'll shoot one. Got a lane violation, I think, here. Yeah. Went down. So it's uh, Upalets. Upalet Bernard. Czech Republic. They got the crowd behind them. They're behind by one for the moment. Just Millich has his cookies took. Dean Kavkic, swiper no swiping. But again, Upalets got their spot here by finishing second at the Tinkoff Moscow Challenger. We'll also see him in Deverson and Lausanne. We will see uh, Piran as well. Piran leads it five to three here. A whistle on the inside. Uh, but again, uh, Piran, Piran is also qualified for uh, Mexico City, Hyderabad, Kuala, and Kuala Lumpur. So thanks to their dominance and the challengers early in uh, the summer of 2018, they find themselves in four masters this year. Trebo. Up top of five matches, I should say. He misses, stays 5-3. Since Milic is a little strong on that baseline, Jay. Trey Bolt now up fake, steps through, off the glass, misses, follows his own miss, tries to get over to Kavkic, is kicked by Shishka, and TV timeout. It'll be Piran Ball out of the timeout, under seven minutes to play. This is our... Uh, third quarter final, our first semifinal is set in case you missed it. Uh, Novi Sad takes care of business against Ralia Intergalactic. They'll go on to face uh, Gdansk Energia out of Poland, who pulled off a signature dub against Lehman Teslavoda, the number two ranked team in the world. So that semifinal is set. We're to the other side of the bracket. Now where we will start to determine that other semifinal. This will be the first entry. Whoever wins this one, Piran Upalets, Upalets re repping Czech Republic, Piran repping Slovenia. Oh, good D. The Sphinx with a nice contest. Two point lead for Piran. Avnik trying to add to it, he couldn't do it. Sis Milic, wild pass. Avnik kicks it. Cav gets two ball corner pocket and missed. So the offense has gone a little bit cold. A little bit cold for both teams as we're stuck at 5-3. Hey, uh, are you following me on social media? Yeah, first, first you got to follow at FIBA3x3. That, get that off your list. Secondly, then you can follow me at 3x3 The Voice. I'm start. I'm you know. I'm start posting some some stuff on there. I got some. I got a couple picks on there. But give your boy a follow. I'll be nice. I promise.
the Sphinx. Too long on the jumper. This is not. This has not been a shooting exhibition. I think that's safe to say. And that's not to say that the, neither one of these teams can shoot. <laughs> it just means they're not shooting it great in this one. Uh, so Kavkic will take it out top of the key. He and uh, Kavkic and Finsgar, by the way, are part of an exclusive group of only three players who have played in all seven editions of the World Tour. Every edition. Uh, which is, you know, that's something, something to be proud about. So he he's been here and he's watched the, he's watched the evolution or they've watched the evolution of this 3x3 game, dating back to 2012, when uh, San Juan out of Puerto Rico won the World Tour. So here we are in 2018. And Cav gets in the Sphinx is still balling, still with an opportunity to win money. Still one of the most dominant teams in the in the world. Number four, Piran, is now up by four, seven to three. Opalets also with no more fouls to give. They got six. Piran with two. Zachrila fading like my barber on Saturday. I'll take the Caesar, please. Seven four. So we're approaching the midway mark as well. Five minutes, 20 seconds officially on the clock. There's Zachrila, 31-year-old. Can't connect, stays a three-point game. The Sphinx elevates. And still struggling to score. Zachrila as well. That's going to be out of bounds to Team Piran. In case you're wondering, who, who has won the, the World Tour Finals? Well, it was San Juan 2012. 2013 was Brezovica, also known as Ljubljana. Two time winners. 2014 and 2015, Novi Sad Awada, they go back to back. 2016, Ljubljana. I remember well, that was uh, my first World Tour final. I didn't do the World Tour final in 2015, even though I started that year. Uh, but they won that year in Abu Dhabi. Last year in Beijing, Zamun with the game winner, the, probably the, the, the biggest game winner in 3x3 history. And now this year, our seventh edition. Who is it going to be? Well, the only two teams that have locked down spots to this point, Novi Sadawada and Lehman. Lehman's out of the competition. Will Novi Sad do it again, or will it be somebody else? Maybe Pirano Upolets. We see. Oh, good. Boy. Look at the strong rebound. Sis Millet. I see you, big boy. I see you, big boy. All right. 7-5, two-point game. Everything outside the arc is worth two. Anything inside the arc is worth one. Just in case you didn't know. So it's Millic, a little bit impatient as he's waiting on a pick. But he put the pressure on Shrebo, pulled up on him and caught him with his hand in the cookie jar. And Shrebo was whistled for the foul. It was in the process of the shot. So since Millic will shoot one. So Umpelec within one point. Oh, the Sphinx, he finally finds that stroke and double dips. Offensive board, though, and the score underneath. Grits Opalets within two again. Now, Obnik, he's a sharp shooter. Didn't shoot sharp on that last one. Neither was the following shot by Zachrila. Shishka. Sloppy shot underneath. Farina had to play Obnik. 
Going to the spin move. Muffling that one up. And tell Shishka to get his weight up. Shishka. Little test drive. Oh, and that's a difficult shot. Missed it. Not, not shocked. Avnik loses his footing. Over to the Sphinx. The Sphinx. Shoulder fake. Elevates. Good D from Shishka. Oh, my God. Did he hit that before the shot clock buzzer? Did he? Did that count? If so, that was that was Kanye West crazy. So I want to say, Anze Shrebo, the bucket counts. <laughs> but it looks like we got a challenge, a shot clock challenge to see if that, that will be waved off. So Anze Shrebo, I don't know if you want to play that dude in the horse now. If he can do that type of if he can do that type of shot under pressure, imagine what he can do just chilling, playing you in a game of game of horse. So we'll find out whether or not that counts or not. As it stands, it's 11-7. And the challenge is lost. So that bucket is going to count. And that'll, that'll automatically get a, get a spot in the... Uh, well, not automatic, but it, it's a contender for top five plays of the day. That's for sure. Zachula, unfazed, he gets to the rack. Sphinx drops it off, gets it back. Here, you take it. No, no, you take it. Okay, I'll take it. Four-point game. Shishka, rise it up. And he smashed it like two potatoes. I told you he's got some bounce. Oh. Two-piece, no biscuit. The Sphinx. This is how we play. Another look at the passing. Oh, I thought we were getting another look at the passing. My bad. Finsgar, no go on that shot. Zachrila, uh-uh. So one point game. That last two, that last two piece. Put Upalets in position, and now they tie it up. The Sphinx from the corner gets his own rebound and lays it in. Under two minutes to play now. One minute fifty seconds left. Zakrila, Sismilic. He pulls up on, on Avnik and cannot get it to go. So the former number one, now number 11, Simon Finsgard over to Shrey Bolt. Over to Avnik. Avnik! Eat your Wheaties, kids. As you look again, Avnik. I mean, look at that. Great body control to, uh, to get the score. See if he can make it a two-point play. A three-point play, excuse me. That's foul number eight on Opalets. So he'll have a chance here. Knocks them both down. Beat on back out by four. Minute and a half to play. And they pick up a quick foul. Foul number six on Piran. No more to give. So you got the number four team in the world. Lace him up against the number 10 team in the world. So this is two of three X3's elite. Going toe to toe. Half court, no coaches. 10 minute games, 12 second shot clocks. Street ball with a twist. <laughs> 
Time out on the floor, P9, with a buck 09 left in this third quarter final. P9 cruising through a pool play day one. Four point win over Marion Bod. They followed it up with a with a four point win over Ralia Intergalactic. They've continued to, to play well here in the quarterfinal. Straight bolt. Good look. Left it short though. Neither team, neither team really shooting it lights out in this one. The buckets that they made have been timely. And the pass is on point from Obnik. I mean, don't underestimate the difficulty on a dime like that. Oh, shish guy. Kevin Hart, short on the shot. Obnik hands it off. Kavkic. Deed up by Shishka. Cav gets you. Almost tracked down his own miss. It's going to be out of bounds, though. And Upolets looking at a five point deficit and 30 seconds to go. Uh, I don't hear the singing yet, but you know what they say. I guess that's not PC. I won't say that. But. The writing's on the wall. It it don't look good. It don't look good for Umpelec. Oh, look at the pass. Straight both set the table. Finsgard laid it in. And with just three seconds left. Oh, look at Omnic. Talking about putting a, a cherry on top, but I don't think I think the basket was actually waved off. 18 to 13 is how it ends. Pinan over Upalek into the semis.